Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Nate Face, bringing you my epic Dollar Tree Super Haul. <laughs> That's right. Picked up a ton of movies, Blu-rays, uh, DVDs. Just gonna share with you guys everything I picked up at this super size like Dollar Tree. I went out of town, uh, like 30 minutes out where I normally stay at, and it was worth it. <laughs> this trip was worth it. I was not expecting to find anything because usually I'm not lucky. And finding any sort of good movies, any good titles, or even Blu-rays at my local Dollar Tree trees. But this one, oh my god, I hit the mother load, guys. Picked up 25, that's right, 25 titles, movies. Um, it is an, it's a mix from Blu-rays and DVDs, but more Blu-rays than DVDs. Yeah, and I'm excited to share with you guys what I got. It's, it's just insane because I never get this lucky. As you saw from the footage, I filmed you know inside the store there was boxes upon boxes upon boxes just stacks of these boxes with the labeled movies on it so huge like red flags and i just i just had to go through all these movies okay all these boxes and pick out all the movies i wanted i don't give a damn if you don't agree with that hey don't hate appreciate <laughs> first come first serve yeah i would have done the same thing if it was a dollar a piece you know for a movie and come on so, and, and plus they left it on the floor, so, and, and I'm a paying customer. It's fair game, baby. It's fair game. So I just, like, started opening. I used my car keys, start opening all the boxes, going, sort, going through them, picking out what I want, put the box on the floor, hit the next one, and just kept doing that over and over, and nobody said shit. So walked out with 25 movies. And, oh, man, it's so good. As you can see, there's a receipt, Dollar Tree. So bright in here, but, uh, Right there is the price. It came out to twenty six sixty three total. That's with tax. Uh, <laughs> such a successful score. I'm so happy. Uh, it was fun. Uh, my weekend went off with a bang. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna get right into it, guys. Got three bags here full of goodies. Um, got the first bag here. It's all DVDs. You know, we'll, we'll do that first. You get to the good stuff later, and then you got uh, these are the regular Blu rays without no slips. And yeah, these are the Blu rays with the slip covers. And you know me, it's not the same without a slip cover, right? You gotta have the slip on the movie, it just makes life easier, it makes life make sense more. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so let's dive right on in with the DVDs first. So, DVD pickups first one up is Police Academy 1 and 2. Sorry for the brightness. I just want to try to get the lighting right. I mean, it's really bright in here, but you guys can see it. Two film collection from Warner Brothers. Police Academy 1 and 2. Uh, these are my parents' favorite uh, comedies growing up, so I don't own any of them. So 1 and 2, sure, why not? For a dollar. Yes. Yes, please. <laughs> Picked up The Miseducation of Cameron Post. And I believe that's Chloe Grace Moretz. I'm a fan of her. I like her as an actress. So why not? It looks like an indie film. I don't know if this was on Hulu. I, I may have seen this advertised on Hulu, but for a dollar, hell yeah, you know. For those of you who don't know, that's Hit Girl. So always been a fan of her since Kick Ass. Next one up is If I Stay. And this is another Chloe Grace Moretz movie. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a fan. Um yeah, it looks like a romantic indie drama. Uh, if I stay on DVD for a dollar, why not? You know, lots of blind buys. Picked up all the money in the world. That's right. That's that movie. Ain't that that movie that uh, creepy Spacey supposed to be in? <laughs> Kevin Spacey, remember? You know, when all the controversy started with him, they replaced him with uh, Christopher Plummer, this actor. Crazy. I, I always was curious to see this movie. Uh, it was directed by Ridley Scott. Sorry, it's Mark Wahlberg. Um, yeah, for a dollar. And it has the digital, what? DVD and digital? Hell yeah. All the money in the world, baby. All the money in the world to buy movies for a dollar. <laughs> uh, next one up is this double feature, All About the Benjamins and Money Talks. Mainly picked it up for Money Talks. All About the Benjamins, I haven't seen that. Like, I barely remember anything about it, so I definitely want to check this out. But Money Talks with Chris Tucker is fucking hilarious. Anything with Chris Tucker, I'm a fan on. I'm a fan of, sorry. Uh, you know, ever since Rush Hour. Come on, Lee! Can't stand the words that come out of my mouth. Gee. <laughs> Next one up is 
uh, when the bell breaks. Basically, when it's crazy bitch trying to kill you kind of movie. <laughs> Uh, it's one of those cliche stalker. Oh, my ex girlfriend, she cray cray. She gonna kill me. She gonna chop my nuts off if I don't, uh, you know, leave you or whatever. <laughs> one of those type of movies. My my wife is a fan of these movies, so I said, fuck it, I'll pick it up for you for a dollar. Why not? It could be a hilariosity, like Chris Tuckman says, like a good laugh. So bad it's so good kind of movie. Morse Chestnut, Regina Hall, they're all in this movie, so why not? Picked up Hillsong, the hope. Let the le, sorry, Hillsong, let hope rise. The movie. Um, this is like a concert event. This is Christian music. Um, I used to be Christian. <laughs> we don't have to get into religion and all that, but I do appreciate the songs. Um, they're uplifting. I love them. I was a when I used to go to church. I used to be a fan of Hillsong. Still am. So this is a great find, and my wife would definitely appreciate this. Because she still listens to, you know, gospel, Christian music. So, yeah. This is this is great. What? The slip cover? What? The slip is on so tight. I can't pull out. That's what she said. <laughs> I, I should be saying this holding a Christian movie, right? Hey, I said I used to go. So, there you go. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Next one up is Titanic. Uh, this is like a mini series Titanic? This is directed by the people who made Downtown Abbey. And just look at that slip. Look at that shine. Look at them colors, man. That, this slip was called my name. That slip cover is on tight, too, for this one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I remember they did do this. So I don't know what channel aired this. Maybe BBC. Uh, but, yeah, this is a legit, like, Titanic. It's pretty cool. Well, why not? What a slip. Hell, yeah. Picked up the virginity hit. I barely remember seeing this movie. I think I seen it when I was in high school. Because this movie came out. When did this movie came out? Does it say 2000 what? Uh, 2008 or something? I don't know. But it was quite a while ago. Um, it's like this mockumentary style. Just trying to get this dude laid. Uh, it's a stupid movie. But it's for a dollar. Kind of want to revisit it. The virginity hit. And this is the last of the DVDs. Picked up Vixen. Don't know anything about this character. It's a DC character. The Flash is there. Green Arrow is there. You guys can see right there. Flash and Green Arrow. DC movie. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. For a dollar, I'll check it out. I like DC animated films, so, you know, probably be worth checking out. Any of these movies are worth checking out for a dollar. Even if they're bad or shitty movies. For a dollar, no regrets. Come on. <laughs> you can't go wrong like that. Oh, man, what a day. What a lovely day. Uh, all right. Time for the Blu-rays. First one up is The Kitchen. This is one of those movies I heard was so bad. Got so many bad reviews. Everybody's like, my God, this is the worst movie of the year. And, you know, that's unfortunate because it, it looked kind of good from the trailers. Sorry, I'm a little parched. <laughs> I'm talking too much, but yeah, it stars uh, Melissa McCarthy, Tiffany Haddish, and Elizabeth Moss. I love Elizabeth Moss, uh, Invisible Man actress and Handmaid's Tale. She's incredible. Anyway, this cast alone was going to sell me to go watch the movie until all those negative reviews drop, but for a dollar, I can finally watch it. <laughs> so if I don't like it, hey, it was only a dollar, baby. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, next one up is Live by Night. This is an underrated movie. Uh, when I first saw it, I was like, eh. And then I saw it a second time, and I appreciated it more. Uh, it's unfortunate that this was Ben Affleck's first directorial bomb. Like, this bombed badly at the box office. I felt so bad for Ben Affleck. Uh, it was a decent, like, gangster kind of flick. Uh, I enjoyed it. Set in the Great Depression, you know, like Tommy Guns going off, like, duh, 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 you know, them type of movies. I fucking love movies like that. So, yeah, I'm happy to finally own this for a dollar. Hell yeah. Next one up is Going in Style with Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, Alan Arkin, you know, three legends right there. Uh, I heard this was pretty decent. Uh, good comedy. So, finally got it for a dollar. Can't wait to check that out. Picked up Barbershop, the next cut. I was trying to look for the first Barbershop, you know, because I don't own the first one. But this is the second one, and yeah, 
I just got the second one. <laughs> I just need the first one. I've seen the first one. I have not seen the second one with Ice Cube and everybody. It's just good laughs. I like movies like this. Um, yeah. And Cedric the Entertainer's in there. He's, he's funny. Picked up another. Oh, she's so cray cray. She gonna kill us. But at this time, it's a white woman. <laughs> unforgettable. You're unforgettable. Uh, yeah. Rosario Dawson's in this. As you may know. And she's Ahsoka Tanu. And that's not a spoiler. Because everybody should have seen Mandalorian by now. Uh, yeah. So I mainly picked it up for Rosario Dawson. Because I'm like, I want to see how you do in this movie. <laughs> Even though this movie is bad. You know, you got that typical chick that's always starring in those oh she's crazy type movies yeah so can't wait to check that out with the wife she's a fan of those movies i'm telling you she eats eats those up <laughs> uh, next one up is keanu reeves in a movie that's about a cat named keanu <laughs> no, that's key and peel and keanu um yeah i've been wanting to check this one out too uh, for a dollar can't beat that pretty cool it's funny they named their cat. I guess the cat's named Keanu. I wonder if Keanu Reeves. I think he doesn't have a cameo in this movie. I don't. I don't know. Can't wait to check it out and find out. Next one up is Horrible Bosses Two. I have the first one. Don't have the second one. The extended cut. Why not? A lot of these are um, Warner Brothers. Like I don't know. You can see it right there. The logo. Yeah, Warner Brothers. Um, you know. The movies <laughs> so that's pretty cool uh next one up is the conjuring 2 there you go the conjuring 2 i own the conjuring one don't own the second one this movie scared the fuck out of me i only seen it once in theaters in my whole life never wanted to watch it again but for halloween time may revisit it but it's just so damn scary that fucking nun the nun movie may have been horrible well she showed up look she's right there she's right there she's staring at your soul i swear to god can't watch these movies without saying three Hail Marys and just start praying. I'm dead serious. <laughs> That's why I, I just don't like the like the demonic possession type. Like, oh, just I can't sleep. I watch those fucking movies at night. Gotta watch it bright as day during the daytime with the sun out. <laughs> yeah. So got that and picked up Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you get those beepers? <laughs> uh, this is the, this is pretty cool. It comes with that like J card in there. Uh, nice. I like the first one. Uh, the second one was all right, and I never bothered watching the third one because, as you know, that director is a pedo bear. I, I think. Ugh. <laughs> all right, next one up is Steep. Uh, I don't know nothing about this. This was just a fuck it by, like whatever. <laughs> um, I this is why I bought it. Okay, because. You have nothing to do with this. is a dollar, and it has this, like, really retro ass. See? Blu-ray disc, high-definition movie plays on PlayStation 3. That is ancient old. Ancient history right here. This is a fucking Blu-ray relic if I've ever seen one with that sticker alone. So who knows? This might be, like, out of print. You never know. And a dollar? Why the fuck not? All right, so got the movie, I mean the Blu-rays without the slips, and the DVDs. Which brings us to last but not least. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This is where it's at. The movies with the slippity slips. Let's end this video on a high note with these, all right? <laughs> and you know, I love slip covers. You know, when I when my movie arrives without a slip cover, it just drives me bananas. And I was I was happy to find these with slips. Some of them did not have slips, and then some of them did. So I grabbed the ones that have slips, obviously. So first one up is the house with Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler. Always want to see one. Heard kind of like mixed things about it. Uh, some people said it was so bad and blah, 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 blah. But for a dollar, what the house? That slip is nice. Will Ferrell looking like a boss. Amy Poehler. I love these two. These two are so fucking hilarious together. Uh, the house. Just, just a nice slip. It's a beautiful slip cover. Beautiful. Mwah. Magnifico. <laughs> uh, this is another one 
fry. This is, yeah. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? Big dog. The stray with this doggy. Look at that cute dog. I'm a dog lover. And look at the doggy. And I talk like this. I talk about dogs. Dog, dog. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> I melt like ice cream with dogs. I can't. I can't help it. My my wife would appreciate this movie because you know we just got a new dog. Even though he's kind of a pain in the ass, he's like shitting and peeing everywhere. It's all good. It's progress. <laughs> well, we're gonna enjoy watching this with our new dog, Dish Dray, and it's from the same people they made God's Not Dead, A Light in the Darkness. Oh no, they're just advertising that. <laughs> it's just a sticker to advertise the movie. Whoops. All right. Yeah. Moving on, we got Acts of Vengeance with Antonio Banderas and uh, Carl Urban. What the fuck are you doing in here? Uh, Antonio Banderas, you know, mimicking his Desperado days right there in Mariachi, you know? Uh, yeah, I can't wait to check this out. It looks interesting. It looks straight to DVD, but fuck it. Straight to Blu ray with a slip. Hell yeah. Uh, heard about this one. I always see this on Hulu. And I never watched this called Once Upon a Time in Venice with Bruce Willis. Look at that slip cover, guys. I never seen this with the slip cover. It's just what? And uh, Jason Momoa? Aquaman? Is it? Look, look, he's in this. Jason Momoa is in this. And John Goodman. What the fuck? Why the hell not? Picked up Tammy with the slip. I heard this movie was god awful, but I just can't resist a nice slip cover, guys. Look at that. Extended cut. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy, I find her funny. She's kind of hit or miss sometimes. Um, so we'll see how this movie turns out. <laughs> she did one movie that uh, I forgot what it was, <sighs> but it got bad reviews too. But I ended up enjoying, surprisingly. I can't the boss. I think that's what it was. I think Melissa McCarthy in The Boss. That was the movie everyone said, oh, that movie's garbage. And then I actually found hilarious. So we'll see. Might like it, might not like it. And last, but not least, no, this is the last one. <laughs> Unlocked. Starring Numi Ray Peace and Rapace or whatever. Orlando Bloom, Michael Douglas, John Malkovich. Jesus, a lot of people in here. Unlocked. Coming to a Walmart bin near you. Or Dollar Tree near you. Ooh, I don't like that sound, but it's a dollar, so fuck it. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. That is uh, my whole insane Dollar Tree pickups. What in the heck? Thanks for watching, guys. This was, like I said, an insane haul. Um, yeah. Give this video a like if you want. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're new. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. That is where I will keep you up to date with my movie collection and all that. So make sure you follow me on Instagram, Epic The Media. Always put it in the description, so make sure you follow me on there. And I'll catch you guys as always. Let's, let's see if I can get this in the next one. I can't, I can't get it in frame. I'm out of here. <laughs>